afternoon everybody. It is afternoon because Yannick and I slept in today, but that's perfectly fine. After we woke the... up early, but we just took it easy this morning. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, we ate some food. I ate some dried suki and he ate some... Uh, Third fried sweet and sour with chicken. Yeah, so right now we're on our way to... Santichon, Santichon village? It's a Chinese village near Pai. It's like a like maximum a 20 minute ride, I think. Well, where we came from, it was 20 minutes, but we drove around Pai through like some rural villages, yeah. which like took us 20 minutes already, but it cut us off for 10 minutes. So it was a 10 minute drive where we had uh, lunch. So it's not far, but really like everything is quite close in Pai. So right now we are standing on a granite rock that's like on a random location. And there's another one. As you can see, in the middle of the fields, I think right over there somewhere should be the Chinese village. Two minutes later, we are at the Santichon village, or at least the entrance of it. Here you can see a sign which is written in Chinese and Thai language. And all around us, you can see a lot of Chinese influence already. So it's up here, a couple minutes walking, and then we'll be in the Chinese uh, village. A lot of souvenirs and trinkets here. Again, the candies, the endless green tea, mulberry fruit wine, Indian gooseberry, Wine. Fruit wine. Mm. Some bells. Okay, the fruit wines are inc incredibly famous here. I saw a brand that was called Boom Boom. Boom Boom, boom Fruit Wine. Some swords. Hills at least. More wine. Ice cream. Ice cream, wine, wine. Oh wait, we just passed something. Yeah. Let's walk around it. Also really nice what you can see here in Pai or anywhere up in the mountains are these kinds of uh, pine trees. You don't usually see those in um, Thailand because we're up here and there's a cooler climate. You can see a lot of different types of vegetation that you normally wouldn't see. And they are perfect for shadow because normally like other trees absorb heat but these are perfect for retaining coolness. It's quite hot today. Yeah, like, uh, it's even also the hottest time of the day, so... Exactly, but even for being in the mountains, it's, it's quite hot. Yeah. Like Some this. more food. I really feel like having lunch here later. There's a horse! Hmm? Where? Oh, it's dying from the heat. Oh, look at that view. Look at that view. Let's go check it out. And it's just peace and silence again. Like anywhere you go at the end of the road, there's always a viewpoint. This is special, almost like something that will grow in the ocean. Looks edible. Edible. To you, everything looks edible. Oh, this is pretty, man, with the water. Oh, the traditional wear is really pretty. You can wear them, you can rent them, and then mm -hmm. you can take pictures or a photo shoot mm -hmm. in those. Oh, this bridge is amazing. Look at that. That's pretty. At night, it must be amazing. Quite sturdy. It's the end of the road here. Wow. Mm -hmm. Right yep. now, it's actually too hot. So in the morning around like nine, or like early morning when it's more cold, the flowers will open up. Mm -hmm. But more during the evening, and I mean during the afternoon, especially now during the hottest time of day, everything will close up because it's too warm and they want to protect themselves. Yeah, they're quite delicate. But I have the feeling that these are like a bit older. No, they're just dried they're up. Mm. Yeah, they're dried up. Not sure if they're still alive. I see my a lot. Like what the There was one there as well. So I think if you sit before people, just going to continue. Oh my God. Yeah. How does that even work? Yeah. Somebody sits and the other one lifts him up. What if we do this? Yeah. It's impossible. Yeah. Be careful, I'll get the chair against my head. 
Okay, if somebody knows how this works without being with four people, try and explain us because we are confused. <laughs> we are confusion. We are confused. We are confusion. That was the swing of our lives. I think you can actually give food for free if you give like a certain amount of money. Well, not for free, but... There's millions. Oh my god. Look, they're already like standing there. What would happen if I push you in the water? Uh, I don't want to Would you be eaten? <laughs> oh my god, look at all those heads on top. It's kind of scary actually. Please give me food. Yeah, I think you can actually give food for like... There's even more here. How much money is it? Let's, let's not do it. Ten baht for fish food. If you wanted to give it, then you can do it, but... I think they have too much food already. Yeah, we're not gonna do that, but... This is the diabetes fish pond. Right now we're on our way to the viewpoint, so... We're gonna go all the way up. We're going to do this by motorcycle because it's quite a... Steep hill. But we're gonna go there right now. Damn, we made it. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's such a steep hill. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let us check out what this place has to offer. And this is the camping place. Wow. What an incredible place to come and camp. Very, very peaceful. Not too many people, which is nice. Oh, oh. So they made these kinds of uh, terraces where you can come and camp. Different types of tents and probably you're paying for the view as well. So there in the distance, not sure if you can see it. There is Vice City Center, and we should be staying, I think, around that area. So a little bit out of the city center, which is nice because we have a lot of peace and quiet. The only thing we heard this morning were birds. Um, we left our food outside because um, otherwise, like, insects would come and eat it. And we heard, like, um, aluminum foil being ripped open, so that was a bird. You know what time it was? That was a bird opening it up just to steal our uh, non leftovers. One little cute tent. What are these? Oh, in Europe they use bridges, here they use shady hearts. I don't think we need that. I want to get rich. I want to get this is the typical sign that you can see on the pictures. Very famous. Very famous viewpoint, but we're almost like completely alone here. I think we're really lucky when it comes to that. Probably all the tourists are in Pai sleeping out their hangovers. Wow. It's it's amazing. Yeah, this this viewpoint, it's not the it's not only Pi. Like before on the pictures it looked like it was only uh covering Pi, but it's almost 360. Like there you have the plateau, you can see the full plateau that covers Pi. And then also the nice surroundings, all the mountains, and we're pretty high up. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but farther in the mountains you can see this white thing and that's a big white Buddha. The big white Buddha also good for a view it's actually one of the very first things that you can see when you enter a pie by uh, by road so yeah beautiful view definitely worth it if you're into tea you can get some wonderful tea here there is this little shop and we bought our chinese zodiac signs so this is an ox that's for me and this is the tiger which is for zara and she's actually a, a tiger when it comes to like her temperament so we might actually switch these so I'll be wearing hers and she'll be wearing mine because this is more how she looks and this is more how I look. Um, yeah, 20 baht each. Quite happy. I really like the design. Um, they're only like um, 
keychains right now. But we might just extend the roll and hang um, around our necks. It's quite hot right now, so Yannick and I have decided to go for a swim. So we're going to the waterfalls right now. It's like, I think, a half hour drive from here, but we're gonna stop at home first to get our slippers and then we'll just head out. Or we can also do it barefoot, that's true. Yes. Gonna eat something first and then we're gonna head over. Okay, we've just survived a very steep downhill, but yeah, we're back at the city center and we've decided to eat something over here. I asked one of the people here for a good place and we've decided on this one. It's small but really nice. So we both decided to eat a tofu dish. So this is tofu with herbs basically. Tofu with herbs. I actually ordered some noodles but they weren't here so I am eating this right now. It's really good. It's, it's really nice. Yeah, it's a very tomato -y, tomato y flavor with some dill and coriander on top and just a pot of fries and it just tastes really really good. Very basic but amazing. Yeah. I just eat it like this so I just take a piece of tofu. Like this. My skills are not the best apparently. Here, take a piece of vegetable here. Ma. You ma. No, just eat it like that. Oh, in my eyes. Hello. Hello, my dear. Hi, cutie. Oh, my God, it's lekker. Hmm? Cutie. It's all my. Drill is licking out of his mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, no. Protect our bike, huh? White dog yes. protector of bikes. We didn't decide to go to the waterfalls. Change of plans again. It's too late. Oh, our buddy is following us. It's too late to go now because if we go there, we lose a lot of daylight. Because mm -hmm. in an hour and a half, it will be dark already. So, so yeah, we just decided to go to the waterfall, uh, to some of the, the lake near Pai. I don't know which water it's called, but I it's think it's the Pai River actually. Pai River? Okay. We did some exploration and we found our own waterfall. Yeah. Okay, so here's the water. We have a little friend here. And uh, yeah, we can just chill here. Yeah, it's a pretty wild stream, actually. Look, Yannick Lawagna. There's another doggy. A lot of dog friends here. We're gonna check out the water and then find a little place to sit and. Hopefully we can swim a little bit. <laughs> so cute. We just went swimming at that well swimming at that little place over there. It was just like the easiest place sides to road but water wasn't really deep so it's more like a foot, foot bed. bathing yeah. yeah but it was so nice. my ankles like yeah. half a meter but not much yeah even though well it was nice for the time being but we decided to not film it because we just wanted to enjoy and live in the moment we're on our way back i'm gonna walk the road out and we'll see we're not really sure what we're gonna do next probably head back to the head back shower and rest look rest and look for something to eat afterwards probably yeah just enjoy the sound while it lasts yeah. drive around a bit explore it's time for a food haul so together with our little friend here Nothing special, just some snacks for food. We'll be doing delivery because we couldn't make a choice and we are lazy. So we have some typical repackaged thank you biscuits. Yeah, and it's a kitty appro approved. Kitty approved. I think this is, or it should be vanilla or coconut, something easy. 
I am trying to drink less sugar and mainly I drink tea but now I felt like having some Fanta and apparently they have sugar-free Fanta orange and then strawberry as well yeah, we bought two of them. Strawberry is amazing. I really love strawberry Fanta. You can, oh, that I know of, you can barely find it in Europe. In Thailand, you can find it everywhere, basically. So, <laughs> so Whoa, Fanta. that sound. Yeah, we're close to a pond. And the cat really wants to go inside the bag. And then we have this uh -huh, chocolate roll. Zaira wanted chocolate, but there was no chocolate, so she got this instead. It's covered in chocolate. Also kitty approved. Also kitty. I think everything's kitty approved. Please, can I just take it out of the bag? Then some Mentos, Mentos, Mint, classic favorite. For some sugar cravings throughout the day. Yeah, when I'm on the boner bike and I want something. Then also another favorite. I bought two of these, but already had one. These are like the hamburger candies. I love them. And then I finished this one already. It's like a vitamin drink with lemon. And it was really nice, very refreshing. Not too sweet. So I wanted something, you know, fresh to give me a little energy boost. It's not an energy drink, just vitamins so. there. And that's it actually, some very basic shopping. We went to like a local store. And I think in total we paid about 88, 90. So that's less than three euros. Let's say 2.7 euros. It's a bargain for me. I think if you would buy this at seven, we love to go to 7-Eleven, but if we can, we really want to like sponsor the local people and the local merchants. If there's like franchising or chains, okay, there's people working there and also getting wages, but try to support local economy because for every 7-Eleven, five local stores disappear. Try to avoid it if you can it's not bad to go there but divide your money and put it in different pots okay so we're going to the to the hut yeah with the beautiful cat right, right. joining us probably she, she loves us hmm. and then uh, look around for some food try to make a decision which is not easy because we're both picky yeah so oh, yeah it was a nice drive all in all nice uh, little evening adventure are you joining? Are you coming at us? Are you joining us? She'll probably join us when we have food. Alright, yeah, probably when the food. But yeah, she's joining us anyhow. Very nice cat. Hmm? But we have no food for you, except if you like chocolate and biscuits, but I don't think you like those. That's not kitty approved. <laughs> not kitty approved. Okay, uh, no, she approved everything basically. But okay, we're getting some food and uh, we'll see. We'll see what we have later.